Working with Wizard Box is, is always fantastic and um, when I first got involved on the Sir Blonde project um, that was um, a real pleasure um, because I mean they had some, some initial characters done, they had some, a, a few of the background done so I knew what the, the art style was like and, and what they were trying to do with the characters um, so it was a real pleasure to do that and then of course moving into, into the new game with, with Captain Morgan um, it was exciting to, to revisit that, that, that same world, um, some of the same characters, and, and, and put in a very different situation, um, a very different story. Wizardbox wanted me to um, develop this, um, a story around this character, um, and so I came up with an idea um, using that, uh, and you know, so we, we threw ideas back and forth until uh, we were happy with the basic story, and then, then I expanded from there. But it, I mean, she's a great character, and um, you know, even in the even in the So Blonde game, she she came across as a really good character, to, you know, and it, she was she was good to write for. So to get the opportunity to to expand on that and really explore her relationship with um, the other characters, you know, from a player's p perspective, is is uh, was a great opportunity. Uncle Eduardo was recently seen on Crab Island. If this is a joke, you won't live to regret telling it. The story is um, one of um, development with, with the character sort of like coming into her, her own a bit. She starts as, um, as a child um, for the first um, section, of the, you know, small section of the first chapter. And, you know, sort of then we quickly switch to her when she's um, about 17 years old and first kind of like getting the chance to, to prove herself um, in the eyes of her father. And, it, and it's very much a kind of like uh, a voyage of discovery for her as she's, you know, sort of trying to, um, you know, sort of like go on this quest for the Golden Turtle. That's pretty impressive, Captain. She's obviously a very um, attractive looking character on screen, um, but um, Morgan is, is, is a strange character in the sense that she likes to think she's very tough and hard-hearted, but, but really she's quite a softy in, in many respects. I mean, she, she won't take any nonsense, but, but certainly you know, the, the characters that she has to put up with show that she's, um, she's quite um, um, you know, sort of like easygoing in, in many respects. Are you all right? The visual aspects of it is, is fantastic. You know, to get such um, detail on screen is, is, is a joy, really. I mean, I, you know, when, when I first started um, in the industry working on low-res um, games that came out on floppy disks, you know, we could have only ever dreamed of this sort of quality. And to get that, you know, sort of um, coming through, so, so you get such incredible detail. There are so many objects to interact with. And, and one of the things that I like is, is the fact that um, there is a lot to interact with. And a few years ago I coined a phrase called interaction density and I'm quite a, a firm believer that, that the more there is to do at any one time, the happier the player will be because if they get stuck on a puzzle they can still explore the environments, they can still um, look around and, and, and have some fun with, with what's available. We do have a little um, nod here and there to, to So Blonde, even though So Blonde is set much further in the future. Um, and you know, sort of the, the, the characters here will not know of, of the character, you know, of Sunny Blonde. But um, there, there are a few nods, and you know, sort of we have fun. It is a comedy game, and um, we don't we don't worry about being necessarily historically accurate or anything like that because because we set out to have fun. It's it's a fun pirate game. It's not you know dark, you know, menacing or anything like that. The most exciting thing about video games is um, the fact that it's still a, a very much a changing medium and we're able to um, look at uh, exploring stories I don't think like any other medium can at, the, uh, um, at this stage and the fact that our stories are interactive means that y you have to think about them in a very fresh a new way all the time, and and the, and the fact that we 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 often have to re respond very directly to um, the feedback that we get from our audience through through the internet, on Twitter, um, various forums, Facebook, 
and so on. It's very much a kind of like um, a medium that, that, that is, is part of, or rather that the audience is very much part of. Frisco, are you all right? Thank goodness. <laughs> you did it, Captain! <laughs>